so happy to be here with you today. I hope you're having a great morning. Let's get right into singing our good morning song. Are we ready? Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. And it's time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Oh, well, good morning, friends. So I'm going to say bonjour, mes amis. I want you to say good morning to everybody around you. And I want you to tell me how you are feeling today. Great job. So we'll say good morning to Mr. Sean and we'll say good morning to Theo who are in the other room playing while I record this video for you. So I wanna tell you about something I did. So I'm feeling pretty green today. I feel pretty excited. But yesterday I was feeling a little bit yellow because I was a little bit scared to do something. So I posted up kind of a fun, dancey video on TikTok, which I'm not sure that you'll know what that is, but that's okay. It's something a lot of grown-ups are watching right now. Um, it's just silly. It's just something silly. There's not a whole lot serious going on on there. It's just being a lot of silly. So I, I as you know, I love teaching and I love being a role model for, for my students and I love interacting with them. But ultimately I'm a pretty shy, keep to myself kind of person. I think my friends know this. Um, and so taking a, a video of me kind of being a little bit dancey was a little bit scary for me. And so I'm really proud of myself that I was able to do that and then post it up and, and see if people like it or not. So that was interesting. I want you to do something today that might scare you a little bit, but it's something good, something fun, something silly, even if it's just dancing in your living room. That's what I want you to do. Because as people, we need to be social and we need to kind of climb these mountains that make us a little bit afraid. And that might look like in our classroom or in preschool, asking a friend to play can be a little bit scary. Um, asking for something that you need or want in the classroom can be kind of scary. And so for Miss Tracy, that was dancing in front of a whole lot of people, which I danced on Thursday, but I danced on our Zoom meeting at our dance party just in front of people I knew. This I posted up a little bit for people I don't know to watch. So that's the scary part for me, is I don't like doing something unless I'm really good at it, which I know I talked to you guys about, about how it's okay to not be perfect at something. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be a little bit silly, right? We talk about this all the time. And so that is one lesson I learned yesterday was that it was okay to do these things. And I want you to learn that lesson too. So I want you to do something today that scares you a little bit, whether it's asking for help or telling somebody that uh, you don't like what they're doing if they're not being very nice to you. Or maybe it's just dancing in the living room in front of people. That's all I want you to do. Sound good? Great. All right, so let's get started with our day. So yesterday it was ma ma monday So what does that make today? Hmm, well, we got to figure it out. So let's get out our two fingers and our five fingers just like this. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Do you know what day of the week it is yet? Those are some really good answers. So let's get out our two and our five fingers again and we'll sing this song in French. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Dimanche, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi. Hmm. So if yesterday was ma, ma, Monday, that would make today t, t, 
Tuesday or Mardi. Can you say Tuesday? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday and we're going to have some fun. All right. So yesterday we figured out that this number was number 20. So now we need to figure out what this number is, the two and the one. So are you ready to count with me? Great, grab your pointers and let's start all the way at the beginning. So we're gonna start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Great job, the two and the one is 21. So let's write down our date. So it's t t Tuesday. And then our month is April. And then what was this big number we counted to? Number 21. So we say Tuesday, April 21. All right. So now that we figured out the date, we need to figure out what the weather is. And I am still really excited because it is still really nice outside and I am so ready for spring. Are you guys ready for spring? I knew it. All right. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? So, I want you to look outside with your looking eyes out the window and see what the weather is like where you are today. Great! So where I am today, it is sunny with a little bit of clouds. And I don't think the weather panda needs to wear his rain boots today. I think he'll get away with wearing his sneakers today. So I'm going to put his sneakers on and then I'm going to put his pants on and his light sweater and I think he's good to go today Oops. all right so we'll leave him dressed up just like that all right so we figured out the date and we figured out the weather so now let's talk about what we're learning about today so today I want to talk to you about the life cycle of a butterfly hmm do you know what butterflies are like. Do you know what color butterflies can be? They can totally be those colors. There's lots of different colors of butterflies out there. Do you know what butterflies start as? Great answers, friends. So I have a storybook I'd like to read to you today, and then we will talk about the life cycle of a butterfly. Are you ready? I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So who is on the front cover of my storybook? Today we have a caterpillar and my story is called The Very Impatient Caterpillar. So this caterpillar says, hey, what are you guys doing? They look like they're crawling up a tree trunk. And this one says, we're going to metamorphosize. That's a really big word. I wonder what it means. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Oh, right, right, I knew that, says this caterpillar. Do you think he knew that? 
This one says, wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me! So now this, this caterpillar wants up. Oh, what did they do when they got to the top of the tree and they went out on a branch? Did they hang upside down? So this one says, well, now what? And this caterpillar says, build your chrysalis. Chrysalis. Right, right. I, I knew that. What's the chrysalis? <laughs> this guy, he went into a chrysalis. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin? Or is it more of a twirl? So now he's all spinning around and he's making his cocoon or his chrysalis. And he says, am I a butterfly yet? And this one says, ugh. So now they both put themselves into their chrysalises. And this one says, well, now what? And this caterpillar says, just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience. Right, right. And I got this. Do you think that this caterpillar is patient or is he impatient? I think he might be impatient. And impatient is something when we are not willing to wait. So when we don't want to have to wait or when we feel like we can't wait and we need whatever it is that we want to happen right now, now, that's being impatient. And being patient is when we're just kind of calm and we're just kind of chill and we know that whatever it is is going to happen when it's ready to happen. So. Is this caterpillar patient? Not really. He says, am I a butterfly yet? No. What about now? No. Now? What do you think? No. Be patient. I have a question, says this caterpillar. Not yet says this one. You, you don't even know what I was going to ask, says this caterpillar. Fine, ask, says this one. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. at all of the caterpillars they're shushing him because he's not being very quiet and they say we're trying to metamorphosize <gasps> and he says okay okay obviously I know this but hmm, pardon me do you know how long this takes two weeks says this caterpillar right right Two weeks. Two weeks! Oh my goodness. That is such a long time. Do you think that this caterpillar can wait two weeks? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I need to use the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? What if I want a snack? Hello? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? A uh, chrysalis. Click. <laughs> How long have I been in here? Is it still day one? Oh, this is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Does he look ready to emerge from his chrysalis? Hmm. <clears throat> Look out, world! Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? Time to 
spread my wings and fly. Does he look like a butterfly? No. Wait! He's trying to flap with his arms. Where are my wings? Splat. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out for him, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, so he's gonna try this again. He says, okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip, you can. I can't, I can't. You are the caterpillar that could, he says to himself. Oh, I am the little caterpillar that couldn't. Oh, he's gonna look in that mirror again. He's gonna say, you can. Do you think he can do it? Do you think he can do it? Say, you can. Good job. So he's in his little chrysalis and he's saying, you can, I can't, you can, I can't. And this squirrel kind of look at, looking at him like, mm, you might be a little bit crazy. I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Deep breath in and out. Look, day six, I'm doing it. Just be patient. Be patient. Two weeks later. <gasps> did he do it? I did it. I'm a butterfly. Whew. Oh my goodness, he's yawning. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I am going to be way more patient. This butterfly says, that's great. Hey, where are you going? And these ones say, we're migrating. And he says, oh, yeah, migrating. Yep, right. Wait for me. I'm coming. And then he says, are we there yet? And the other butterflies go, oh. Bye. So did he learn anything about being patient? Not really. He's still pretty impatient. But that's okay. Still takes two weeks, even if he's calm and cool. Two weeks if he's not calm and cool to become a butterfly. All right, so. Day. Hi, baby. Oh, you got a car on a string. Good job. I can walk. Yeah? I got that. Did you come through the door? Okay, so today's activity is the life cycle of a butterfly. So what I'm gonna need you to get is your life cycle pictures and then your life cycle cards. So we're gonna use these today, but we're gonna talk about the life cycle. So all the butterflies start out as caterpillars, but before they're caterpillars, they are eggs. So they are born and they are eggs and then they hatch. Day. And so, Day. yes, honey. Oh, beautiful car, I really like it. So we have our eggs. And so from the eggs, they become a caterpillar, okay? And then they go into their chrysalis, which hangs from the tree branch, where they spend how long? Two weeks growing inside. They have to grow inside. And then from there, they become Beautiful butterflies. And then once they're butterflies, they lay eggs, and those eggs turn into caterpillars. And those caterpillars build themselves a chrysalis, and then those caterpillars turn into butterflies. So that is the life cycle of the butterfly. So today, you're gonna take your pictures of the different stages, and you're gonna use crayons, or pencil crayons, or markers, and I want you to color. So I'm only gonna do a little bit just to show you. So I'm gonna 
color in the picture of the leaf with the eggs. And then the leaf over here. And then I'm gonna get some colors to do my butterfly. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I want you to color in the whole picture, but I'm only gonna do part of the picture so this doesn't take forever. So I'm gonna do some blue. And I'm gonna do some purple. And I'm gonna do some green on my butterfly. All right. So now that I've got my pictures colored, you're also gonna need scissors and glue for this activity. So now that I have my scissors, remember Tommy Thumb goes up and the finger family goes in the big hole. I'm gonna use my helper hand to hold my piece of paper. And I'm gonna cut along this line just like this. Am I done? Not yet. So now I need to cut on this line, open, shut, and then I'm gonna cut on this line, open, shut, open, shut, and this line, open, shut, open, shut, this line, and then the last line. Open, shut, open, shut, open, shut, okay. So I can set aside the pieces I don't need and my scissors, because I don't need them anymore. And then I have these four pictures. So I have eggs, caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. So I have these four pictures. So I'm gonna use my glue and I'm gonna put them in order. Who remembers what came first? Is it the chrysalis? Is it the butterfly? Is it the caterpillar? No, it's the eggs. So I'm gonna find the picture of the eggs on the leaf. I'm gonna put some glue onto my picture and I'm gonna put it on the square that says number one. So I'm gonna get you to find the number one. Okay. So then what comes after the eggs? What's this? Is it the butterfly? No, it's the caterpillar. So we're gonna find the picture of the caterpillar. Put a little bit of glue on the picture of the caterpillar and then glue it into box number two. Okay, so what comes after the caterpillar? Is it the butterfly or is it the chrysalis? Good job, it's the chrysalis. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my chrysalis and I'm gonna glue it into square number three. So then the only one left is square number four, which has to be the butterfly because it's the only one left. So I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna glue my butterfly to square number four. And so then when you're all done, you should have a picture of the life cycle of the butterfly with your colored pictures of the eggs, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and the butterfly. Great job, friends. All right, so before we do magic box, let's talk about the different activities I want you to do today. So I want you to do the butterfly tracing today. I want you to work really hard on tracing all those lines. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you a new song about recycling. So I have my song in front of me so I don't mess up my words because I made up this song and I only sing it a couple times a year. So we're gonna do a couple of actions. So we're gonna make a heart. So you can make a heart like this, hi, like this, okay? And then we're gonna put some paper in the bin. So I want you to make this action. And then we're gonna, hey, please don't. Nope, hey. Okay, then you're all done. Do you think you can pick them up, please? Oh, you're going to put it back on? Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna make a heart and then we're gonna put the paper in the bin and then we're gonna squish and then we are gonna give some thumbs up. Okay, so my song goes like this. We love to recycle so we do it every day. We put the paper in the bin and send it on its way. We crush the can so nice and small, reducing as we go. It helps the earth stay nice and clean. Reusing makes it so. So let's sing that one more time, because I need the practice. Are you ready? We love to recycle, so we do it every day. We put the paper in the bin and send it on its way. We crush the can so nice and small, reducing I as we go. I it helps the air stay nice and clean, reusing makes it so. Good job. All right, so that's my recycling song that I made up. So we are going to talk all about Earth Day tomorrow because it's Earth Day tomorrow. And we're going to talk all about how we can reuse things in a way that they weren't initially intended for so that we can make some art tomorrow. So let's get to our magic box. Theo, do you want to do the magic box? A few moments later. Okay, so now I have my magic box and I have a couple of questions. So Ben wants to know, does it move? And the answer is yes, it does move. It goes back and forth. All right. Colton wants to know, is it an animal? It's not an animal. So it does move. It goes forwards and backwards. And it's not an animal. Does it make a sound? Yes. So it would go... Vroom, 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 vroom. And it might also go beep, beep. Or honk, honk. So there's lots of noises that this could make. This. Thank you. So it does move. It goes forwards and backwards. It's not an animal. And it does make sounds. Hmm. Can you guess what's inside my magic box? Those are some really great guesses. All right, what color is it? Shit. Green Shit. and yellow. So I'm gonna bet, oh, there's also black on it. I'm gonna bet that lots of my friends know exactly what's inside my magic box. So it does move, it goes backwards and forwards. It is not an animal. It does make sounds. It goes vroom vroom, or it might go vroom 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 Or honk honk. And it is green and yellow and black. Have you figured out what's inside my magic box today? Great job. All right, if you guessed that it, I had a John Deere farm machine or tractor inside the magic box, you would be totally right. And so let's see if I can make it make sounds. This is pretty accurate, hey? All right. So that's all I have for you today. I've got a few more things that we'll do tomorrow for Earth Day. I'm really excited about Earth Day. I hope you are too. Um, so let's get out our working hands. Are you ready? All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. All right, bye friends, see you tomorrow.